Hello my friend, are you okay? Today the video will be very good. This video will be good because I'm going to present a Brazilian wellness athlete that I'm sure will have many achievements, achievements in competitions and as a fitness influencer on social networks. I'm talking about the wonderful Maria Julia Marcus, or simply Maju. I will bring a sequence of videos of Maju, because I believe you need to see the physical evolution that Maju has been conquering. Today's video was taken from posts that Maju posted on her Instagram profile, and you can rest assured that I'll leave Maju's Instagram in the description of the video, and it will definitely appear during the video. These posts by Muju were made on July 21, 2021, and with the next videos that I will bring, Maju's physical evolution will be evident. It's surreal the muscular quality that Maju has, it's amazing. The video will show Maju's glute training, and obviously I'll bring the name and some important information for performing the exercises safely. But it is obvious that it is important to always have the follow-up of a professional to avoid any kind of injury. The first exercise in the video is the cable glute kickback on the bench. This exercise works the glutes in isolation. It's a simple exercise, but you need to pay attention during execution to avoid injury, and get the best out of the exercise. During the execution it is important to keep the abdomen contracted and your spine needs to be straight and still, to have control of the weight during the whole movement, especially during the decision of the weight. Strengthen the heel of the leg that is kicking and it is very important to have body awareness, you need to direct all the tension to the gluteus. Concentration during exercise is very important. The second exercise is the hip thrust which is also an isolated exercise that works the glutes. Hip thrust is a simple exercise to perform, but you also have to be careful to avoid mistakes during execution, and thus result in injury that will disrupt your training. Because it's an exercise that doesn't need to squat, the person can exaggerate the weight and this can cause injury. When you exaggerate the weight you perform the movement incorrectly, incompletely. Excess weight can also generate imbalance by not supporting the bar and can also cause cervical and lumbar injury. Another common mistake is not supporting your back the right way, so be careful to support your shoulder blades on the bench. The third exercise is the barbell sumo squat. The sumo squat is a variation of the famous squat. This exercise is perfect for people who have a problem performing the traditional squat. The sumo squat works all the muscles of the traditional squat, and by having the legs further apart, the sumo also works the inner part of the quadriceps. The fourth exercise is the Bulgarian split squat. This exercise is a little more complex than the previous ones, since in this exercise it is necessary to maintain balance on one leg during the execution of the exercise. This exercise is great for targeting the quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings. The most common mistakes when performing this exercise are keeping a base too long and leaning your torso back. The fifth exercise is stiff. The deadlift is a great exercise for those who want to build glutes and beautiful legs, as well as strengthen their lower back. But it is very important to pay close attention while performing the exercise, because this exercise performed incorrectly will result in an injury to the lower back. And lower back injuries are horrible. The best way to perform the deadlift safely is, to hold the bar with an overhand grip with a straight spine. The legs should be in line with the hips. You should bend your torso forward until it is parallel to the floor. It is very important that the spine is kept in a neutral position, you cannot under any circumstances transfer the force to your spine. And keep the scapula slightly adducted. And finally, extend the hips in a controlled way, until you have an erect torso again. You need to focus the movement on the hamstring. And finally the cable glutes kickback. Another variant of the glutes kickback exercise, but in this variation the exercise is performed standing. Like the first exercise in this video, it's an isolated glute exercise. The execution must keep the abdomen contracted, have control of the movement especially during the descent. Keep the spine straight and still. 
strength in the heel that you are kicking, and finally have a good body awareness to focus on the glutes. Soon I will bring a second video of Maju to show the evolution of this beautiful athlete. My friend, the video is coming to an end, and I hope you enjoyed the video and especially Maju, and don't forget to follow her on Instagram. I would like to ask you to like the video, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. See you in the next video, bye!